In this video of JavaScript, we are going to start the operators. As so far in the JavaScript implementation, we have seen like how can we define a variable and can set a value either at compilation time that is while writing the code or at runtime that is by using the prompt box. But once the value is assigned, if I want to do some operations such as I want to add a couple of numbers or I want to compare a couple of numbers whether which one is greater or smaller, I can do that all by using the operators. As operator is nothing but a symbol which tells the system that which particular task need to be performed in that particular data on which you are applying the operator. So the operator is the symbol and the things on which the operator would be applied will be called the operand. For example, if there are a couple of variables where a and where b and we are saying like a plus b, so plus is the operator and a and b are the operands on which the operator is being applied. In JavaScript, we have a vast list of the operators and using individual operators, we can perform the specific tasks. So, on the basis of the operands, these operators can be classified as the unary operator means a single operand operator, binary operator means the operator having two operands or ternary operator means the operators having three operands. But functionally we can classify into these categories such as the assignment operator. We have already seen the assignment operator that is the equals to symbol where we have assigned the value to a particular variable like where a is equal to 2. So this equals to variable or equals to operator will assign the value 2 to the variable a. Apart from that we do have the arithmetic operator, comparison operator, logical operator and again ternary operator. So let's have a look about these operators individually. As in arithmetic operators you can see like plus minus multiplication that is for asterisk slash forward slash for division and a percentage symbol for the modulus means if you want to add two numbers you want to subtract you want to multiply you divide two numbers for example you say uh, 5 divided by 2 so what will happen in the quotient it will be 2 in the remainder it will be 1 so the slash will take the quotient, uh, quotient part means the division operator will take the quotient part while the modulus symbol will take the remainder part. So both are related to the uh, division only one is dealing with the quotient another one is dealing with the remainder. But if I will talk about the precedence means if in a single operator multiple operators are being applied for example if I say a plus b into c. So these three operators has the higher level of precedence than these two. But rather than this discussing here, let's see all of these things practically. So for getting started with the arithmetic operators, I will take a couple of variables like num1, I'll assign some value such as 40 and num2 in which I will assign again some value like 10. Now, as we have already discussed about the arithmetic operators like plus, minus, multiplication, division and modulus, so let's do them very quickly. I am not taking any variable, I am just printing the results directly. You can actually uh, take a variable and can assign some value into that if you want to reuse that value further. So what I do here is num1 plus num2 and here I am just adding these two numbers. Very similarly, I'll do some more tasks like subtracting, multiplying, dividing and finding the modulus. So before proceeding, let's break the line for each like this and let's see the output now. So here 40 plus 10 is 50, 40 minus 10 is 30, 40 multiplied by 10 is 400. When you will divide 40 with 10 in quotient you will get 4 and in remainder it's 0. So like this all the operators are working perfectly. Now let's do it in another ways 
like for example if I say where result is equal to num1 plus num2 so the result will be assigned to the result variable alright and you can now print that particular value like this and it will work like same but if you want to do some shorthand operation like things you can do that as well but for that let's take some other scenario like here what I'm doing is I'm just incrementing the value of num1 to an extent for example num1 is equal to num1 plus 5 what it will do it will simply add the 5 in the current value of num1 which is 40 and will change the current value that is the new value to 45 so now if I will print the value of num1 you will get 45 but for the same thing I can actually write it like this also that is plus equals to that means the same and will give you exact same output like this it's again giving you 45 now let's talk about the operator precedence so for that what I'll do I'll just take one more variable called result and now what it will do is 10 plus 5 into 20 so now when I will print the value of result what it will do is first of all since the multiplication precedence is higher than the plus so first of all 5 will get multiplied to the 20 which will result you 100 and then this 100 would be added to the 10 which will give you 110 in the output but if you want to change the precedence you can put them in the par parenthesis so the precedence of parenthesis is always higher so now this 10 plus 5 would be done that is the 15 and then that 15 would be multiplied to 20 which will give you 300 like this alright so this is about the operator precedence now let's change the value of the variables num of numeric types using the single operators or the unary operators that is plus plus or minus minus so here as we have already discussed like whenever you will use this plus plus operator it will actually make the increment by 1 so now when I will refresh you can see it's 11 and they come into two varieties this is the post increment and if you will put the plus plus before it will be a pre increment let's talk about the difference since here I have used plus plus num that means it is pre increment and the increment will be done before the value is getting assigned to the result so before the assignment the increment would be done that is num will become 11 and then that 11 would be assigned to result so in this particular case both the values would be having 11 let me break the line to get the clear output right like this but in case if I'll go for the post increment that will give you a different result in this particular case since it is the post increment that means the assignment would be done before the increment so by the time the value of num would be assigned to the result result would be having 10 and after this assignment the value of num would be incrementing so the num will have the 11 so when you will print the value of result it will give you a 10 and while num will give you 11 let's check it out the same result which I was talking about and very similarly you can do it for the minus minus operator as well as the way of using the pre and post increment or decrement is going to be very same now let's have a look on the comparison operators we have these six operators for comparing the value such as the double equals to single equals to is the assignment operator while double equals to is the comparison operator which compares the whether two values are equal or not if the values are equal it will return a true otherwise false and very opposite is a not equals to operator greater than when you want to compare the greater value lesser than when you want to compare the lesser value 
and very similarly greater than equals to less than equals to it will compare the greater as well as the equality so all these operators will be compared, uh, compared to values and will always return a boolean either true or false on the basis of the comparison made so let's see practically how can we start implementation of these operators now for implementing the comparison operator what I have done I have simply taken a variable and using the assignment operator I have assigned a value called 100 it's a fixed value and now I have used all the comparison operator that is double equals to for comparing the equality not equals to greater than equal to less than equal to greater than and less than so when I'll say that num1 which is currently 100 is equal to 10 so obviously it will give you a false though JavaScript is not a type safe language but whenever you will compare a condition it will return a boolean data either true or false and in this particular case it will give you a false but in the next statement when you will say that num1 which is 100 is not equal to 10 so obviously 100 is not equal to 10 in this particular case it will give you a true as we know 100 is greater than 10 so when you will say num1 is greater than or equals to so in this particular case if the value of num1 is either equals to or greater than 10 so the result will be true since it is greater it is going to return you a true but since 100 is not less than 10 so it will give you a false similarly the same case happen the same will happen in these cases like 100 is greater than 10 so a true and 100 is not lesser than 10 so it is a false basically the difference between the greater than and less greater than and greater than equals to is like it will give you a false even though the num1 and 10 both are having the same value that is if I'll make it to 10 and 10 is greater than 10 will give you a false but if I'll say 10 is greater than or equal to 10 so since it is equal to it will give you a true Let, let's check out the output now since we should get the false true true false true false so let's refresh this and false true true false true false the same output which we predicted is here now let's talk about the logical operators suppose we have multiple conditions to compare and you want to merge them up so here we have two binary logical operators such as the AND and OR if you have two conditions and you want to check like both conditions must be satisfied only then I want to do some operation for example if I'm doing the login thing so I want the username and password both must be same in order to do the login so for that I will go for the AND operator but if you are okay with any of the op uh, any of the condition should be satisfied then you can go for the OR operator for example I have the list of employees and I want either Anadi or Mohit record should be there or both so I can use the OR operator but if you want to just reverse the condition that is if you want to make true to false and false to true we can go for the logical not operator which is not a unary logical operator so let's see practically how can we start working with the logical operators now now here in this video along with the logical operators we are also implementing the ternary operator so first of all let's have a look in the ternary operator so what I have done here this question mark and this colon both are comprising the ternary operator ternary operator which means the operator having three operands so the first operand is the complete condition which will return you a boolean value that is either true or false if the result is true then the second operand or if the result is false then the third operand is returned so basically in this particular operator the first operator is evaluated the first operand is evaluated and according to that the second or third operate operand will be returned to this particular variable so what I'm doing here 
I have taken a couple of variables for you taking the user ID and password and I have used the prompt box for that so as soon as user will enter I will check like whether user ID is anadi and password is tutorials point if both the conditions are true so as per the and operator it will return you a true when both of the conditions are true so as whenever we do the login the username and password both must match in order to get a successful login result so if both are correct so this and operator will return you the true and in that case I will assign welcome in the message and similarly if any of these will be incorrect so this and operator will return you a false result into which the invalid user string will be assigned to the message variable so let's run it and see the output anadi and tutorials point so now it's saying welcome but if I'll enter anything incorrect as you were saying earlier as well so it will say invalid user so that's what I discussed like when each of the condition is false then it will return you a false now what if I want to go for the or operator so let's change the program to a bit so in this program what I have done is I am taking a user name in this program using the prompt box and after that I am comparing if the username is Anadi or Anand then it will return a true means when you use the or operator obviously this single variable cannot have both the values at a time so surely only one, va one uh, condition is going to return a true while other will return a false or maybe both conditions will be false but even if a single condition is returning you a true this or operator will just return you that true and accordingly I will be getting welcome or invalid user so let's save it and run it so now what I'll do I'll enter Anand it's saying welcome again I'll refresh I'll say Anadi it's saying welcome but if I'll enter anything apart from that you see it's invalid user alright so this is what uh, I can do using this uh, or operator but if I'll talk about the not operator it is a simple unary operator like I assigned this uh, not operator right here so it is going to behave just reverse so let's see how it's going to behave now so now when I'll enter Anadi it will say invalid when I'll enter Anand it will say invalid but apart from that if I'll enter anything it's going to say welcome that's what I said this not operator will simply return the true to false and false to true it will simply reverse the result of the condition